Shook it up. Good morning, people. Today is Sunday. It is the 24th of March. And I'm literally just up. I'm just going to take you quickly through my morning routine. As you can see, this is how I wake. I'm just going to go in to the bathroom because that's part of my routine. So every morning I weigh myself on the scales first thing in the morning. Have a wee first, then weigh myself. <laughs> And that gives me pretty much a good average to be looking at on my weight. So this uh, weighing scale is available from Vita Goods. A lot of people ask me where it is from because it's a digital weighing scale. It's very accurate. And I'll show you a few more of the advantages of this scale. So here you can see my weigh-in. Now this is based on my demographic. So it will ask you for all the details in your settings. So I've had two higher days and my weight is up a little to 126.6. It was down at 122. So you can see here, this is the percentage body fat. So it's up at about 27. We've got our water weight here, which is about 52.4, 31 grams of muscle. And it has 5.2 pounds of bone density so this is really good to give you a good overall accurate scientific reading of where you're at and you simply just press the set button and it'll bring in all the details so we've got program one um, I'm choosing to be a woman today I'm five foot one I'm 36 and then it goes off that reading it'll come back to zero now to stand on it and I need to stand on and the metal scales here is what takes the reading. I'm holding the camera now so it's going to weigh a bit heavier. But um, yeah, these metal plates here will take your reading and sends like a slight current through your body to read the bone and fat densities. Lovely people at Fighter Goods have given me a link and a discount code to give all of you guys 60% off the scales if you would like to purchase one. They are very accurate and it's good to just not be too focused on your weight but also you can focus on getting body fat down and looking at growing muscles. So if those are your goals, it's perfect. And now downstairs to get some coffee and to feed the doggies. They're still in bed. Good morning. Good morning, Bailey. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie. So dogs are out having their morning toilet. And um, just before anyone gets concerned about why Bailey is in the crate and Roxy isn't, it's because she could harm herself. She's very inquisitive for want of a better word, and some of our cupboards, we can't get them to close, and our utility room door doesn't shut, it doesn't click shut, so she can literally push it open with her paws, and she'll get into cupboards, and she could eat something that would harm her. So that is why she's in there, and she doesn't mind it at all. She hops in there at night. It's very comfortable, and it keeps her safe. So now, once the dogs come in, I'm gonna feed them. I'm going to make Lex and I some coffee. It's a Sunday morning, lazy Sunday morning. So coffees are a go. I always have um, collagen coffee. So I'm using this one at the moment. I just got it on Amazon. Um, it's called Lenevi. Um, I go for a, a bovine collagen. Um, I've just read up and heard that it's better for you. And collagen has loads of benefits. It's good for, it's good for digestion. It's good for us older women who are losing the collagen from our bodies because once you hit over about 32 it starts to reduce so loads of amino acids in there really good for you that's why i take this and this is not sponsored i'd buy it myself so collagen coffee for me regular coffee for lex and food for the dogs because they're banging on the door right now so we have a decaf collagen coffee for me with some califia farms and some regular caffeinated coffee for Lex. A little bit more than you're used to. So you're gonna feel great and you're hopefully gonna break through those plateaus. So now I have fed the dogs, I have had my coffee and now it's time to make this all look a little bit more appealing to 
public. The other day I went to the dentist and I had all my attachments taken off and I had my teeth. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's not a veneer because they didn't shave down my own teeth and put on a fake tooth on top of it, but they added on like little bits to my own teeth to make my smile a little bit more perfect that way as opposed to that way. And uh, it's what they look like. They weren't whitened or anything. But my dentist said that I do have very naturally white teeth, so yay me. Probably cause don't smoke, don't drink tea. And tea it stains your teeth more than coffee. So uh, I think they're pretty good. I still have to go back and get um, new like aligners because <clears throat> they're not quite perfectly straight this way. So I'm gonna get a few more aligners before I get my retainers. And that's the end of my tooth journey. So I would recommend Invisalign. I didn't envisage that it would take over three years. My sister went and got Invisalign and it was done within six months but my bite was really bad and um, my teeth did have a lot of moving to do and then I also had to get you know the changes made to the shape of my tooth because they weren't you know quite perfect so we're aiming for perfection here at my teeth since I'm paying for it I went to the smile stylist so it's not an orthodontist it's a dentist that does Invisalign specializes in Invisalign and what I've had done to my teeth so I do feel a lot more confident with my mouth and my smile now so I'm out of the shower first things first sort out the lashes so I am in between infills I'm due to get them done so I have lost quite a few you can see there but I'll be getting them done this week to make them all luscious what I do so I use the hair dryer on a low setting so lashes are looking a little bit better now a little bit fluffier and you can see the front of my hair is wet because I only wash my hair about twice per week and then in between washes I will um, just wash the fringe bit just to have that looking a bit fresher so if you're wondering what's going on there so on my face I'm going for this it's, it's the Kiehl's super multi corrective cream and I just find that's really nice on my skin because um, I have quite sensitive skin and then right down onto my neck as well so then body moisturizer I'm keeping it basic I use the Palmer's coconut oil formula and um, again dry skin and I always moisturize after the shower because the shower just takes so much moisture out of your skin so I'm all moisturized I've got some underwear on and I use this which I got in a gift set at Christmas and it's uh, for dry lips and dry hair knees anything and I just use that on my lips and it's just really nice my lips are quite chapped right now I think it was from the dentist I think it kind of chapped my lips because obviously they kind of dry out your mouth when they're doing stuff to it so now moving on got this Smashbox primer that I used photo finish I don't I've tried the one with the SPF in it and I had an allergic reaction I think I'm quite sensitive to SPF on my face so um we're just going to use some of that just to prime the wee facing there we have it evenly distributed now, I have a number of different uh, foundations so I have this infallible total cover from L'Oreal and I got the wrong color this is light sand and it's actually a little bit too light for my um, skin tone right now I actually think I need kind of more of a medium sand color so um, I do use it still because it's quite a nice kind of daytime foundation I also have this Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation and it's not all it's cracked up to be. I just don't think that you need to spend a fortune on foundations. There's lo loads of the cheaper brands like L'Oreal do pretty decent foundations and this one, it's nice but nothing better than this. At the moment it's just the perfect colour for me because this is the number four fair colour. And as you can see I am quite pale because I don't let the sun on my skin um, because all of these foundations all have like SPF in them. So. 
it's kind of protecting me and I don't like to let the sun on my skin because I'm quite freckly and it ages you guys so try to wear some protection. So I've got this Estee Lauder double wear. Now this one is Pebble 3C2 which is a little bit too dark for me so I just haven't found the perfect mix and then I've got this MAC Pro Longwear. Now these are both like highly recommended. They give quite a heavy coverage so it's more if I'm like doing photos or if I'm um, like going out on a night out and I want something to last me, I use these. But today I'm gonna to be doing some photos for Instagram. So I think I'm gonna mix these two together just to give me um, better, heavier coverage and better finish. And then my two um, concealers that I use, under eye concealers, because I do have like lines and um, dark circles under my eyes. So I go between the Tarte one, which is a little bit heavier and during the day it kind of goes a little bit cakey under your eyes whereas the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I really like this one this is in NC20 as is the I think yeah this is NC20 as well so the two of these are NC20 and I do like the MAC stuff but a lot of them are quite drying on your skin so that's why I like to moisturize and use um, a good base as well so I'm just going to go with the Estee Lauder double wear and then mix in some of the uh, MAC Pro Long Wear because it kind of lightens it up a little bit so it's not too orangey. I'm not in any way a professional makeup artist. I just know what suits my skin and how it looks on my skin and as you get older you kind of you can't stick with the stuff you're using when you were 16 because your skin's different and you've got different concerns like lines and wrinkles and dark circles so I just use one of these brushes just to get it on and my mirror is this way so excuse me if I'm looking away but I have to kind of look in the mirror to get this on evenly as you can see it does give quite a good coverage and quite good base I know some people do their eyes first, but I'm not going to be doing crazy dramatic eyes because it is the daytime. And I go right into the hairline and across my lids as well, kind of giving my lids a base for um, eyeshadow and down my neck because no one likes a big line here. So I go down my neck and right into the ears there. As you can see, it's not like crazy dramatic look but it just kind of gives you a nice starting point. Then I get one of these sponges. I just picked these up from Primark, nothing special, but I use um, a fixing spray on it. So I either use this one, the Revolution one, which is actually quite nice, it's a pro fix illuminating one. And, but I love the all nighter from Urban Decay. So I usually just spray that on here, just to dampen it and then go across my face again. And if there's any spots where I've got pimples or kind of like, redness i will add a little bit more foundation onto those spots just to cover them in but luckily right now i'm not looking too shabby skin wise i have been drinking a lot of water ensuring that i get in about two to three liters a day which definitely helps with your skin so if you find you're breaking out of it just get the water out guys sometimes you might get a zit or two when you start but then your, your skin does clear up and it looks way better wait to get my lashes done again so if you're in the Shropshire area or like nearby even like Birmingham and you fancy just like treating yourself to some lashes I go to my friend Danny in YLB so she owns YLB lashes and uh, they do microblading as well for eyebrows and they do the laser eyebrows as well which I have done by Lexa's sister but they do need topping up and I'm not going to be able to go to Australia to get them done so I'll probably get them done in YLB and I think though my lashes they're really good but if you just want to get them done for like a special occasion the girls in there are amazing okay so eyebrows next because as I said I kind of need my eyebrows topping up and um, I started to kind of fill them in a little bit more so I use the browsing which I've had for donkey's years from Benefit and you just go I, I just define them a little bit more like there still are strokes still visible from when Azar did them and then you use the powder just to fill and it just gives me a more defined brow I just kind of just go across the edges um, it makes me feel a little bit more 
confident in the eye area. And again, if I was going out on a night out, I might do them a little bit heavier, a bit more dramatic, just depending on my eye makeup. And then I usually just brush them through with an eyebrow brush. And I've got like three million lash brushes from Danny. She gives me a fresh one every time. So it's like that thing where you can always find bobbles until you need one. And with the eyelash brushes, like I've got like them everywhere in my handbag, in my car. And as soon as you need one, you can't find one. But they are quite handy to have to hand just to brush through your lashes. Um, there was one that was out of place yesterday and um, I'm guilty of pulling out my lashes when one just kind of is grown the wrong way. Sorry, Danny. So um, for limited contour that I do, I like to just bring my cheeks up a bit. So to do that, what I do, this is my own little um, makeup method. So I suck in. And you just grow like that. Grow like that. Now this is the Benefit Hula that I use. But I got one from Aldi and it's called Aloha. And it's the exact same. So if you see uh, any of the products that look similar to Benefit in Aldi, just pick them up because they are the same thing. And super cheap. But I'm still going with this one, so. I just kind of contour my nose just a little bit to make it a little bit more defined. So I'm going to leave my face like this while I do my eyes and it just kind of um, lets it set in a little bit. As I said, not a professional makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. So I use this Naked Basics. I have a few different um, eyeshadow sets. So this Man Eater one by Tarte um, kind of has like more dark and sparkly colours. So I use that more if I'm going out on a night out. Because it's the daytime look, I'm going for the Naked one. And as you can see, I've really been using it a lot. It's just my go-to. So with a big brush, I'm just going to use the Venus colour, which is the lightest colour, and just sweep that across the entire lid just to kind of give it a base to go by. Um, and then I use this one, which is kind of like, so it's an eyeliner kind of eyebrow brush. And I use Crave, which is the darkest colour. Uh, I just go underneath lash line on the bottom halfway in and I give, give it a little bit of a tail there at the end so halfway in got your little bit of a tail just to give it that upward and it kind of opens up your eyes a little bit and then on the top I just do the same so you can see that it just kind of gives you that outward lift to your lid and then I just blend underneath because I'm not really doing it to make a dramatic look it's just to kind of define the edges of my eyes and kind of bring them out and open them up especially when I'm a little bit tired um, and then we will just go in with a lighter colour into the crease in my lid I do have quite long lids and I'm lucky that they haven't really started to drop yet, but I'm sure it's ahead of me in my future. And then we've got, so I'm going, pretty much going through the entire palette. So I've used the Venus, um, Foxy as well, you can use just on the lid. Then I'm using WOS on the big brush, and now I'm onto Naked 2, and then onto Faint. So I do use the entire palette just to define my brows and my lids I just feel like when I do this it makes me feel um, just more confident the days where I don't wear makeup and I don't leave the house don't have a shower I just feel crap about myself so definitely I've always had a keen interest in makeup from when I was a kid because my mum used to be part of like this like makeup group kind of like um Avon but it was what was it called Oriflame so because I kind of always was being around makeup and stuff it always did interest me and then I did ballet for a lot of my life where we were thought how to do 
stage makeup so that was obviously a lot more dramatic a lot heavier but probably had lead and stuff in it so right now you can see the eyes are done in my opinion eyes done now i want to do some under eye concealer so as i said i'm going to use this mac one because i like that and i usually just take a little dot of it and then dot that underneath i wait until i've got my eye makeup on to do this because then you can kind of tidy up whatever eyeshadow has um migrated below the eye uh, i just kind of take it down onto the cheek bone here and it kind of just highlights so you don't want like big panda eye circles I kind of just bring it down so it actually isn't under my actual eyelid then we take a little sponge and then just dampen that as well and then go in and blend like so blend 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 and then I've taken some onto the nose as well. So right now, obviously my eyes are done. Lashes looking pretty good. And my face is still a little bit stripy. So we go back to our flathead foundation brush. And then I just kind of blend the bronzer in. Because you don't want nice big stripes on your face. So I just... Blend that in with my foundation and into the concealer that's under eye. Blend around the nose because again, don't want a stripy nose. Don't like having too much makeup on my nose, I think it kind of clogs up your pores. Uh, just generally blend all the way around. Now to fix that, I've been using this cover fix. So I have two different fixing ones. I've got this Infallible from L'Oreal, which looks blue and it kind of goes on a bit blue. So I'm a bit concerned that I'm gonna have some kind of blue gleam to my face. But the Colour Fix, this is just like a little sample one that I got off a website and it wasn't that expensive, but you just, it's like a really nice fixing powder. And I just kind of lash it on there because you want to like really push it in to keep it in place. Powder under the eye. And now it looks a bit powdery right now, but I'm gonna blend that in a minute. So next step, I put on some blush because I like to put some pink in my cheeks. So I'm using this dandelion from um, Benefit and I think it's just a nice shade of pink. Again, just blush brush and then I usually kind of go for the apple of my cheek and this goes kind of a subtle pink glow as opposed to bright red stripes which I used to do when I was in uni but we grow and we learn about our faces and what suits us I used to do like pink eyeshadow and just used to go crazy on my makeup but now I kind of go for a more natural look so I still want to slightly be able to see my freckles through. So we've got more of the colour fix and we're just gonna put that across. The many faces as you do your makeup, it's like pulling the skin in every which way. And then again, just a little bit more blush. And that's kind of finished face and I'll just take some of the all nighter urban decay we just spritz that on spritz spritz and then i've got i put usually some mascara on my bottom lashes the key to doing the bottom lashes and not get it all over your face it's the last thing i always do i put a tissue on and then just brush on the mascara I don't like using like big thick dramatic mascaras because you just want to define those few lashes underneath and I use the they're real from benefit I have used other ones but they're just too heavy because it's just literally for my bottom lashes because you don't want to be putting it on the top lashes that have your Russian lashes on goes on perfectly and there we have it 
it's time to sort out the hair. So because I have dampened my fringe, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of mousse. So I'm using the big sexy hair mousse, which I use when I curl my hair as well, when I properly curl it on a night out. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my fringe. I've got a round brush. So as you can see, I am growing out my fringe, self-explanatory, it's growing out. Still a little bit short on this side, we're trying to get it down to about here, to kind of have like just like a shorter layer here and then layer it in around my face. So the rest of my hair, looking like this, I had it curled yesterday, I curled it yesterday, but I'm just going to add in a few extra curls around the front because some of them have fallen out. So. This is the curling thong that I use, the curling iron. I, it's a T3, so this part here is interchangeable. And it's the one I showed you when I travel to Portugal and I bring it with me everywhere. And there are bigger tops for it. So I also have this one, but it gives this gives more of a wave than a curl. Um, so I like to use the smaller barrel just for more defined curls. So what I do is I section off my hair just takes half of it up like so make me very attractive and just push it through I'm gonna use a little bit of mousse just in the ends it's kind of static today for some reason and then I'm just going to just take big sections because it is already curled so it should take the curl quite well and I just wrap it around like so. I try to keep the ends off the heat just to avoid damaging those little flimsy ends and reduce the wear and tear on my hair. So obviously you are putting a lot of heat on it. And then when I can feel the heat on my hand through, take it off. I usually count to 12 on each piece. Barrel is still kind of heating up. Just hold it like that and we go around the entire head and just do big pieces and you kind of have ringlets. And sometimes I just put a clip, especially when it's just been blow dried, just to kind of train it to go this way. I'm just gonna go around my entire head. Excuse me while I do this. Big pieces, wrap it round, and I kind of tend to part it in the middle and then go in the same direction from each side. So the curls all curl outwards. So today, as you saw, my weight was up. So this week it actually had dropped down to 122.2 pounds, which I was really happy with because I am putting the effort in and I have been really consistent this past two weeks and it is showing because I think over the past couple of months I just haven't been able to get consistency into my diet and into my training and this week I definitely have. I've got my cardio in, I've got my food in, healthy food as well, not kind of um, eating a lot of snacks, trying to eat whole foods and eat good foods to try and fuel myself and make myself feel better because I think even if you're hitting your macros, if you're not eating a very healthy, um, diet regardless of whether it's hitting your macros you're not going to feel the best and it can affect your sleep things like that and your digestion so you want to just like be fueling yourself in the best way possible to feel the best as well and especially if you're feeling quite down or negative negative. and since i had the miscarriage i have been feeling quite negative not feeling sorry for myself as such but just find it hard to lift myself out of kind of a little sadness bubble that I've been in but I'm getting through it now and I feel like I'm finally starting to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel now my weight today was up and then after I weighed myself and had a cup of coffee um, I actually got my period so this will have accounted for the jump in the scales I was expecting to be up a pound but I'm up actually a couple of pounds I'm up like three or four pounds today but when you get your period that first day going to be retaining a hell of a lot of water and um, there's going to be inflammation all around your uterus all around there so don't stress I wasn't expecting it today because my period isn't due for another four days so it's four days early because my cycle isn't quite back to normal 
after a miscarriage it takes a couple of months it can take up to six months for your cycle to regulate itself and that's what i'm doing now i'm waiting for to have a couple of consecutive months of um 28 day cycle so last month it was 28 days but and i thought maybe it would regulate this month but no it's decided to come a little bit early this month and i was feeling a little bit sad yesterday and no reason whatsoever me and lex went for breakfast had a nice day went training i was feeling cold sad and tired and i couldn't really understand it and now it explains itself um yeah i was just pmt without even realizing it because i wasn't expecting the period for another four days so thank you very much mother nature for that little surprise today um but it's all good it's all good just your body's way of healing itself and getting it back to normal after kind of a trauma so again you're not as clever as your body your body knows what it's doing it's always going to try and outsmart you we're just gonna do our hair make ourselves look pretty and definitely making the effort to get up early to do my cardio to like make notes again and make lists for myself because i am an avid list maker and i haven't been doing it um because i just felt like sometimes i felt unsatisfied when i didn't do everything on my list so i thought maybe i'd take a break from making lists and just try new things like take a break from tracking my food which was nice a nice break but i gained weight because uh, for me tracking my food is quite essential because i do tend to overeat when i intuitive eat i can do intuitive eating for a while but i have to be quite careful but i either tend to under or overeat so getting back to my kind of way of how I like to live my life. I'm not saying it's for everyone. Some people are better at just intuitive eating and not living by lists and things like that, but everyone is different. And for me, I find list making and uh, tracking my food and just like being quite regimented um, helps me day to day just with my personality and how I operate. So as you can see, it's quite ringlety curls. So just kind of loosely over that side and then final side just take a few segments and again I don't know why your hair is so static um, I washed it a couple of days ago and I'll wash it tomorrow probably so it is people asking about my hair I don't really do that much to like I suppose look after it as such um, I do use Moroccan oils things like that just after I've washed it just to kind of put moisture back into the ends but this way of styling is how I get kind of like my big hair my hair would be quite not straight but not not in any way curly unfortunately I'm not blessed with curly hair I always wanted curly hair because my mum had curly hair and some of my sisters have curly hair and then me and my older sister straight 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 but there is a little bit of a frizz to it obviously because you wouldn't be blessed with just lovely poker straight hair. And final piece, I like to kind of be careful with the ones around my face just to kind of get proper curls the way I want them to go just because they're the ones that are going to be kind of framing your face for the day so I'm always a little bit more wary of how I curl the front bits just to try and get some volume and that sort of thing around my face before i brush out the ringlets i like to just spritz it with some hairspray i use this one it's the l'oreal um in style it's a big hairspray and i find this kind of gives a nice flexible hold so you don't want it kind of crunchy, you want them kind of flexible. Scrunch that in and then leave it a couple of seconds and then we just brush through the curls. That will look a bit like Diana Ross, big hair to start off with, but the curls do fall out to give a more natural curl. This is my kind of daytime, nice put together look for a Sunday. Don't usually do get ready with me so if you enjoyed this kind of video from me please like it 
give it a thumbs up um, comment down below if this is something you like to see I know I have guys who follow me for my fitness and for my recipes and all the rest but this is just a little bit different a little bit more girly because I do like to look nice even when I go and train in the gym very simple kind of daytime look with some loose curls on two day three day old hair not bad for a Sunday hope you enjoyed the video again if you want to buy the scales or if you have any questions about any of the products um, that I've used today just hit me up in the comment box below I'll get back to you as quickly as possible and there is a link down below for the weighing scales which have a 60% off discount Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.